To get started, use the brick palette on the left hand side of the screen to find the parts you're looking for. Click and then drag the part out to the workspace. Before you click again to place the piece, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to change the part orientation. When you select an item, it'll give you some information down in the lower left hand corner, part number, part name. If you happen to know the part you're looking for, you can type that directly into the dialog box. If by chance when you type a part number in, nothing shows up, you may need to switch the theme you're using. Go to the view menu, choose new themes. Right now I'm in LEGO Mindstorms, that part was not available. I'll switch to the LEGO Digital Designer theme. Now the part is available. To move an existing part, left click and hold, start to drag the piece, and then release the left button. Now you're free to move. You can also change the orientation using the arrow keys on the keyboard. To make a copy of an existing part, you can use the clone tool. Simply click the piece you want to make a copy of. Click again to place it. You can also use the selection tool to highlight one or more parts. If you hold down the control key, you can select more than one part at a time. You can then use the control C, control V keyboard shortcut to copy and paste. To delete a part, you can either select it, click delete on your keyboard, or you can use the delete tool. To change your view, you can either use the on-screen arrows, also to zoom in and zoom out. I find it actually easier to use the mouse. Click and hold the right mouse button, let you orbit. And if you use the scroll wheel, you can zoom out and zoom in. I'm going to load an existing model and show a few more things. You can use the hide tool to temporarily hide parts to see hidden details in your model. When you're finished, upper right hand corner, click the show all hidden bricks to return it to normal. There's also a paint tool. You can use this to change color of parts. One last trick in relation to moving pieces. If you notice with this yellow beam, I'm able to reposition pretty easily along this direction. If I try and go perpendicular but in the same plane, you can see that it doesn't allow me to pull it out to the right where I want to have it positioned. So I'm going to hit escape to cancel that operation. And then I'm going to temporarily place a beam. And get a pin. Now holding down the control key, I'm going to select both that pin and the yellow beam. Now when I go to drag this pin, you can see the yellow beam moves with it. And since this pin snaps easily into each of the holes in the beam, I can more precisely position the yellow beam. It's especially useful when you're building out in space where it's not actually connected to anything yet. And then when you're finished, you can simply delete your extra parts. One useful tool is on the file menu. You can choose Export Bill of Materials. This will give you a spreadsheet with a list of all the parts in your model. In the upper right-hand corner, you can also click on Building Guide Mode. This will generate building instructions for how to assemble your model. It's not always perfect, but it's generally a workable way to get the model built. If you're interested in taking a look at this model, I'll leave a link in the description. The Thinkinators team last year came up with this design based on the design by BuilderDude35. I'll leave a link to his video as well.